What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sasakura, the one who never knows best. And today I'm bringing you some more Dragon Ball Fighters, but it's a video that I didn't think I was going to end up making because, uh, as you guys know, I've gotten that taste of what it's like to jump into one of these online tournaments again after participating in City Mayhem. Was it just a week ago? And I said that I'd be jumping into a lot more of these tournaments, but mostly on PlayStation because I don't really like playing on PC. So when Bum hosted his City Mayhem for PC last night, I didn't originally intend on entering, but I just had that itch and I jumped in. So even though I said I wasn't going to do it, your boy did enter the PC tournament, and uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I, I kind of did my thing. So today I'm bringing you some post commentary on my matches, and it's gonna be over the span of a few videos because, you know, we got we got a lot of matches to cover. Right? This this time around, I said I was gonna do better. I said I was gonna be back stronger, and I definitely did that. I'm back on my grind, and I want to improve and do even better and better. So here we are today against my first opponent, Defying Neutral, who was running a team of Base Vegeta, Kid Buu, and Android 21, and I jumped back into things with Android 18, Bardock, and Trunks, and you'll see that we kind of put in that work, 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 Base Vegeta getting hurt, 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 18, put him in the dirt, 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 <laughs> shut up, you're a nerd, 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 anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, we take up the Base Vegeta pretty uh, swiftly, I would say, and then it's down to Kid Buu and Android 21, now, obviously, his team looks really powerful, and I was concerned right away. I mean, you're playing Base Vegeta in 21 and Kid Buu. These are all top tier characters that are very, very powerful, very common. Now, I know a lot of you have been wondering and been asking, how come I'm not playing Base Vegeta in Android 21? Well, the thing is, right, I still consider Android 18 and Bardock and Trunks my main team. Even though I think Base Vegeta in 21 are leagues above 18 and Bardock, uh, I think Base Vegeta is just better Bardock and 21 is better than 18 in pretty much every single way. <laughs> um, I'm just more comfortable with this team. This is the team that I enjoy the most. And um, especially when it comes to playing on PC, I cannot play base Vegeta on PC like at all. I the, so part of the reason why I hate playing on PC is because it is a known thing. Like it is, it is, it is a like this is real. This isn't like people just making this up. PC drops your inputs a lot more, um, and you just don't get some of the buttons that you push. Like that happens on PS4 too, just because the, the online in these games is not very good. He tried to match that cut with that barrier. <laughs> that goes to Android 21. Um, but yeah, you'll notice that I dropped a decent amount of combos in like really odd spots throughout these matches and oftentimes like at the top of the screen where I'm like trying to do my my you know just a jump light into a into a jump meter or something like that and it's because PC timing is pretty different and it's, it's only like a two frame native input delay difference but it feels like a lot more especially when you're somebody like me who has literally tens of thousands of matches on PlayStation and thousands and thousands of hours logged into it you just get so accustomed to what it's like to play on that platform um, but also it is like an actual thing that happens where a PC eats your inputs a lot more than PlayStation does and it causes you to drop combos and, and, and get misinputs and things like that and it, that comes up a lot for me in this tournament but you'll see we were kind of scrambling whiffing around just, just swinging uh, <laughs> I ended up catching the Kid Buu with the full combo extends off the trunks assist and into the level 3 I'm pretty sure right um, but yeah especially when it comes to me trying to play base Vegeta who's a character whose combos require a bit more precise timing and, and, and you know you know more complicated input not complicated inputs you know what I mean he's got some more advanced combos um I, I I legitimately can't do them on PC so when it's when it comes to playing on PC tournaments especially if I do more probably not gonna be playing base Vegeta 21 although that being said I will probably play the base Vegeta trunks 21 team in tournament on PS4 um, in the near future in fact as of this recording today there is a tournament uh, for NLBC that I did sign up for and I do intend to participate in and it's taking place in about three hours um, from now and I might play base Vegeta Trunks 21. But you see, we take our first game over Defying Neutral, and I know I didn't talk a whole lot about the actual match and that one, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the gameplay. I just feel like I had a lot of things I need to get through, and now we can actually focus on the match itself. I catch him with the block stream right off rip. He super dashes back. I'm looking out high key for Dragon Rush uh, <laughs> in these sets, and I, I, he hesitated there. I thought that was going to be a Dragon Rush. Like, I was I was so focused on trying to tech Dragon Rushes uh, during this run because I've been getting hit by so many Dragon Rushes lately, and I really don't like that because I feel like I've gotten so good at taking them. He tried to raw tag into the 21. We get the full combo extension off the product assist. That was such a great conversion. Good job, Lotus. I give myself a little pat on the back there. But uh, yeah, my, my defense is something I really want to uh, focus on uh, in these sets because uh, which is ironic, not necessarily ironic, but it's just funny that I say that because you'll, you'll notice that I was definitely uh, uh, feeling a little mashy, feeling a little mashy on defense at times, but you'll see in some later sets that when I was actually focused, on, that was a misinput on that spark. I did not mean to spark there. I know everybody was really confused when I popped that. It, it was a misinput. My finger literally slipped, accidentally did R1, R2 at the same time. It's, yeah. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I feel like I played the best defense of my life uh, <laughs> in this tournament. Not necessarily in this set, but in this tournament, like I said, you'll see in some of the later matches. But we take out the Android 21. We spent our sparking, so I was like, I might as well go for an empty vanish here around start. Catch him with the key blast. And one thing I noticed is that he did not utilize Kid Boo's assist very well at all. This seems like the type of player who would have been better off running the Kid Boo C assist. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, obviously. 21 and Biz G to get great mix, but he didn't really come up. That didn't really come up in any situation. Speaking of mix, I tried to hit him with a super dash uh, plus assist mix in the corner. He was mashing level three, and the funniest part about what happened right there is I wanted to be petty. I wanted to be petty. I tried to level three him right back. I messed up or maybe PC ate my input, and I got hit and died. He super dashes after the super dash. That's fine. Gets the extension on base Vegeta. It is what it is. I'm still feeling pretty good about this set. I mean, Bardock and Trunks. That's my tried and trusty duo. Uh, there has been plenty of matches where 18 dies right away, and I just, I still managed to win. Um, and both sparkings off the table for both players. He reflected my beam, so I ended up getting reflected off the vanish. And he does a beam of his own, instant punish into level three. Kid Boot mixed up off level three is nothing close to what it once was, so I'm not really too concerned here. Uh, but that being said, he does uh, do full auto combo on block, and I could have actually punished that, but I just wasn't prepared for that to happen. I just didn't react in time. And it just was what it was. I <laughs> stuck at the raw tag there. It, it, it seemed a lot slower, like in real time, than it was. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm about to die for sure, but I didn't. I think he was trying to go for a little bit of a reset there almost and uh did we work out yes sir we ex larry at it with but because he was in the beam he, because he did the beam he was still stuck in the animation we get the extension of the trunks assist boom 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 into the ex spin i'm pretty sure i level three here right and now right here what i was thinking is i should run up and drag rush but i was like nah don't drag rush he just he just he, he gonna jump then key blast and blue ball so i ran up too well and then he reflected <laughs> <laughs> so of course I was like, man, I should have went with my guy. I should have just done the Dragon Rush because then he would have died. <laughs> but it's fine. Instead of killing Kid Boo, we end up losing Bardock. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Level one, level three. It is what it is. It's perfectly fine. We can still do the solo trunks. I mean, I've made bigger comebacks in this before with trunks, so I I'm still in this. I'm not out of it yet. And uh, I was actually feeling pretty confident about my play for the most part. I mean, there were still some mistakes that I was making, but uh, I feel like I was. Uh, I mean, I never really get psyched out when I play, but they were like. No nerves at all. And it's funny, too, because I actually saw some people in the chat saying that, you know, Lotus looks nervous or something like that, which I wasn't streaming and nobody could see me. And I was actually on the phone <laughs> while I was playing and I was cracking jokes and shit. So I definitely wasn't nervous. But um, some of the drops, he tried to EX rocket kick in the air. That move, you can't 2H it when you're on the ground. But if they do it in the air, then you can't. That was just a straight up poor combo choice on my part. I should have done mid screen level three. I just messed up. No confirm there. And then he mashes 2H there. And I was like, OK, I'm not going to lie. After that 2H specifically, I was kind of salty. So you'll notice I start mashing a bit more in this next game. So I was just like, man, fuck you. Fuck you. I, I was kind of bad. I was kind of bad. So I was, I was also big fuck you energy in this next game. But um, yeah, there, there were no nerves at all for me in this tournament. Um, It was literally just, I'm not used to playing on PC. The timing is different. Sometimes my inputs get eaten and it just causes me to drop more combos. That's really all there is to it. And that's exactly why I won't play base Vegeta on PC. And I, I know some people are saying, well, you could just practice and then you could play base Vegeta on PC. But... I, I don't want to, um, truth be told. So anyway, we're off to the first start, and you'll note right there. So I was I was super dashing a lot, so I was like, I'm gonna just super neutral my way out of this shit. And then he goes to the dragon rush, and I'm mashing too well. It was literally like, fuck you, energy. He gets caught by the EX-17, we get him with the re-jump. That's gonna be in the base of It's looking like just uh, how things played out in game number one, pretty much. Dragon rush into the bar dog, boom, step on him, baby. Go oh, wish that were me, huh? Anyway, level one. We're still there. We're looking really strong here in game number three, even stronger maybe than game number one, or at least equally as much so. Now he's down the Kid Boo and Tony. He lost the character and his spark. He tries to super dash, gets deflect. I have a bad habit of like vanishing after I get reflected. It worked out for me here, and it works out a lot. But some of the more advanced players would punish me for that. That was a combo drop, and then you're gonna see another combo drop here. This time, I'm, the combo I'm about to drop here was just um the poor judgment of the amount of hits that I had left because I hit him with a jump heavy and then the bark assist and then jumped him again. So my hits didn't wore, wore off there and it caused me to drop the combo, but it's fine. Key blast into advantage. The key blast whip, but I vanished anyway. No punish on that mix. We blocked the mix. I thought that was going to be a dragon rush because of the hesitation. He went for the cross up key blast, but we ended up whiffing a dragon rush and it got us away. He, speaking of cross up, he blocked one of his own. But the 2S into the 5LL, catches him slipping and we are steamrolling. Now, what's about to happen here? It is interesting because I'm like, oh, I got a huge lead. I don't really have to go in. But one thing about me in this game is that I do not acknowledge my own lead sometimes and don't play as patient as I can when I'm up so far ahead, right? Like, I can kind of like hang back, let him come to me, let him hang himself, right? And then capitalize on any mistakes he makes. Jumped in again because he was mashing. Got him. Tried to hit him with some loops here. Boom. Bow, bow, boom, bow, bow. Yeah. And then I dropped it. But it's fine. 
But um, yeah, I, I still play equally as aggressive when I have such a huge lead like this as I do when I'm at a deficit or when things are even. But it's not something that you should be doing as a player. It's not something I should be doing as a player. And it's something that I actually do want to work on. But um, yeah, you'll notice what's about to start happening is, okay, I got hit. Oh no, I, I, well, I got hit by the level three and then I sparked and then got hit by EX Ball. And then what's about to happen to Bardock is just even more painful than what just happened in 18. Like I sparked up and 18 died right away, but then you'll notice that, okay, he did a random ass medium dive and I got hit and then I was like, okay. And I tried to vanish out and hit him with a jump medium. He pushed buttons and then it, it worked out. He reset me with a jump medium, dropped his combo. And I'm just like, I, it, it was just a scramble. I was just confused as to what's going on. He was fucking up and making mistakes and pushing lots of buttons and Bart just like, before I knew it, Bart's health bar melted. And I was like, okay, I don't know where this comeback came from, but I'm not about to go out like this. I, was, I had too much momentum in this third game to go out like this. I was like, all right, let's just stay calm and things walk with trunks that it's fine that right there that right there so I, I know a lot of people are like oh wow they're mashing vanish like crazy and i was mashing a lot but that vanish and some of these vanishes that you were seeing were me trying to do like a key blast into a vanish or something like that and my key blast not coming out so you guys know i'm good for that with trunks reflect 5s vanish that's what i try to do i do that all the time when i'm back into the corner my 5s just straight up didn't come out but my vanish did but it's fine though. We ended up getting a combo anyway into the level three. Hit him with a safe jump, jump medium. He got hit overhead, and that's gonna be us taking things 2 1 over our opponent, defying neutral. And I think he said afterwards, like he was, he was respectful. He was like, GG's, whatever. Would have smoked you if I wasn't so nervous though. First and foremost, shouldn't have been nervous. Second of all, see me on PSN. <laughs> see me on PSN when I drop less combos and I actually get more of my inputs. <laughs> but anyway, I'll be back with my next set. And then moving on into, I believe this is actually round three because I'm a good enough player or well-known enough player to where I actually usually get a buy in the first round of Bumps tournament. So I didn't have to play a round one. So that my first match was actually in round two. And I believe this was round three. It gets a player by the name of Test Your Luck, who is actually somebody I'm not personally familiar with, but I've seen play. And um, he's actually pretty damn good. Uh, he's been regularly placing in top eight, I feel like recently uh, in these tournaments. So he's, he's a respectable player that a lot of people perceive, uh, you know, uh, uh, of decent skill. And I don't think anybody expected me to be able to beat him, but, well, you know, you'll, you'll see how things played out in, in this set. But, uh, yeah, I, whoo, that jump medium. You know what's crazy? I feel like my movement was surprisingly good today, like, better than usual. Still not great, but, like, I just felt like I was actually moving around the way I, I wanted to, to the best of my ability. I was looking for a raw tag there. He didn't really give it to me. I super dashed him. And you'll notice I'm super dashing a lot, uh, particularly against Beerus, but just in general. That was a combo drop because of PC. That was that 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 drop specifically. That was dead as PC ate my input. I promise you. The raw tag there to get Beerus out. Beerus was leaking pretty bad. If he had gotten touched one more time, he was gonna die. So he gets to recover some blue life. Gets the super baby in, and uh, this baby assist was something that was a concern for me. But you'll see, I'm just trying to be patient here. Patience, patience, patience. Tried to jump there, got hit. I was able to take the dragon rush somehow, and then I could have just blocked that six in, but I ended up sparking anyway. Got him with the cross-up jump medium, but was not able to fully convert. I whiff a 6M, but I saw him whiff a reflect, and he he would have been right. But because I was misjudging my range and <laughs> being able to punish him with a medium starter, and then this this decision, this was just a bad decision, just to, to banish it in Dragon Rush, but it's fine. You know, with the X17, but he sparks up, so that actually makes 17 go away. And you'll notice I'm using uh, medium 17 a lot here with neutral, just to try to keep my opponents in check. Um... I don't know why he vanished there, but I just hit him with a counter vanish. We blocked the beam. This dragon rush was huge, brain. He was negative there. I was like, all right, as long as he doesn't backdash, we're good. Hopefully he doesn't raw tag. He didn't do either of those things. Didn't take the throw. EX17 on Oki. Hit him with the mix. Kind of didn't do that that well, but it was still good enough to where he got hit. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to kill here because I don't have bottom assists for the extension with the combo. And I don't have enough meter. So we just knock him down again. Hit him with 17. Except this time, I wanted to do barrier there. And if I had done barrier, it would have worked out. And I would have been able to kill Tien, but I accidentally did key blast because it's the same input except barriers in the air and key blast on the ground that was just a mistake on my part um but uh yeah uh so yeah super dashing works out really well against this team because baby and, and beers both rely a lot uh on tools that are super dashable beers with the orbs baby with his key blast so you notice i was using using that a lot delaying my buttons there a little bit caught him with a medium starter down goes baby and you'll see like i'm actually like kind of destroying him like i said this is the player that i think a lot of people did expect me to be able to beat that being said though the, the support from you guys has been absolutely crazy, both in the comments on these videos and especially in the Twitch chat uh, while these matches are being played because uh, being that I am a content creator and I'm decently well known, a lot of people ask for Bum to put my matches on stream. He's like, okay, if we get this many subs, we'll put these matches. And uh, usually he puts my first game on stream anyway, but then he's like, all right, y'all want to keep seeing Lotus, like, you know, run it up, but we'll just keep playing his matches. So most of my matches usually end up on stream. 
and uh, the, the 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 love and support from you guys has been absolutely insane. Y'all 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 been going crazy. Like let's go, bro. Put putting your money, putting money on on the bets, on the predictions on me, even when y'all don't think I can actually win. Just doing this because y'all fuck with me, and that's it's all love. I, I appreciate it a lot. It, it, it means a lot. It's, it's, it's keeping your boy motivated. Yeah, I want I want to make the Osako clan proud. Proud, you feel me? I do it for the village and the flowers. Uh, that being said, you'll notice that I got caught twice. That's how 18 died, and that's how Bardock just got hit. Was by the orb and the super dash. Um, and both times it was because I got caught jumping. But that's fine. EX flip out of the corner. Speaking of EX flips, you about to see some crazy shit here in a second. Was, is it this game or the next game? I think it's this game. Bow right there. <laughs> the EX flipped into the jump. Bro, come on, I say. One's in the comments if you got hit. You definitely got hit. Level one, level three, down goes the beers. And now Anchor Tien does a ton. Because like Tien already does a ton of damage anyway. But with Limit Break, Tien does a ton of damage. So, like, Bardock is one touch. Trunk still is two touch. But I'm like, I got a full health trunks back there. I ain't, I ain't scared. Of it. Like, uh, this, this, this game is all mine. Hit him with the round start lariat. Let's go. Drop the combo. That one was just my fault. Patience. I thought he was gonna try to hit me with the TN's command grab, which is why I super dash there. I was wrong. Um, ended up getting hit here. It's fine. And I woke up with the buttons. Woke up with the buttons. I was, I, I, that was just a masher. I'm a match. I'm playing Bardock. But to be fair, he did kind of whiff there a little bit. So I was like, all right, maybe I can safely wake up with a button here. If I'm right, I win. If I if I'm wrong, Bardock dies. But I still have full health trunks, and he has a, he still has to two touch me. So it's basically like a calculated risk. Like, yeah, it was it was it was just straight up mash. You can call it what you want. But um, it was literally like, yeah, I, I waited in my head. I was like, okay, if I'm right, I literally win the game. If I'm wrong, Bardock dies, but he's gonna die the next time he gets hit anyway. And it, even if Bardock dies, he still has to beat me in neutral two more, well, at least one more time, and then get a second hit to kill Trunks. So I was just like. Whatever, I, I'll run it. Now you'll see here, he actually ended up backing out and I thought he was gonna switch teams and I was very afraid, but all he actually did was switch out Baby to his uh, point character as opposed to mid. I believe he was playing Beerus point first and then um, Baby mid, which was interesting to me. I don't really know what the thought process was here behind it. I guess he just thought that maybe Baby's neutral would be able to better handle my assist and Android 18. And that is something that I do always struggle with with Android 18 is her neutral. That's part of the reason why I play Change the Future Assist and Super Dash as much as I do, just because I feel like it's about all I can do. Uh, and I, it's it's funny to me because like that was such a good jump medium into the J Twitch. Great confirmed by Tester Luck. It's funny to me because I always feel like my neutral is so bad and like so lacking, but I get complimented on my neutral and like my ability to air to air and everything all the time. I blocked the six sound, but then he caught me the jump medium. But uh, yeah, with 18, like it, it always feels like a struggle. Her buttons are like really stubby. She doesn't have like great neutral tools. I mean, she's got a good key blast and she's got disc, but like, I, I don't know. I just, I feel more confident obviously with a character like Trunks than with 18 uh, when it comes to the neutral game. But yeah, that 2H, I'm glad I empty banished there and blocked. Super dash and got caught by the baby sis. That's all, that's all me. That's all me. Well, <laughs> really it's all him, but I'm saying that that's on me. But uh, yeah, 18 kind of getting busted up here. I wasn't really, I still at this point wasn't really sure what the purpose was of the baby swap, especially since he went back into beer so quickly. But whatever, whatever was going through his head, it seemed to work out because I was getting thrashed here in this game number two. Uh, my sparking's gone. I lost the character already. So I was like, ah, we got a lot of work cut out for us if I want to make this comeback. Again, baby, all he's really got is key blast and stuff like that. And at some point he might go for a command grab in the block screen. Uh, just like kind of go over top of you. Yeah, that was that was a poor medium slash. But like I said, I use super dash a lot against baby and, and beers because like a lot of their tools are super dashable. Um, so that's just something I was on the lookout for. But uh, yeah, because I, I know some people might might watch me play in these and like, yo, little super dashes a lot. Why is he always mashing super dash and block swings? There, there's a reason for it. There, there is a reason for it. And a lot of times, I most of the time, I actually I am right. <laughs> most of the time when I super dash, I am right. <laughs> Yeah, kind of, I think I messed up that block swing a little bit with that mix. I think my time was just a bit off and I gave him protection. Or he might have just blocked it properly. I'm not entirely sure. Reflecting a lot there, then try to jump out of the way. Got caught by a button because I was trying to jump. And then down goes Trunks. So it's like, okay, uh, I've made solo Bardock comments before. It almost never happens. I feel like Bardock is not exactly my strongest character, but uh, it's doable, right? I'm not out of this yet. He actually messed up his mix there for blocking. And there's that command grab I was on the lookout for. I was on the lookout for B4 and... Uh, yeah, went for a soft little reset there, jump out of the way, EX Lariat, and then the jab here. He jabbed after my vanish, which I couldn't believe, and then he didn't necessarily confirm off of it because it's a blue combo, but I just didn't tech in time, and it's... Yeah, y'all yeah, see what's going on. Y'all yeah, see what's going on. Spark here, so he uh, makes sure that he guarantees building enough bar in order to get the kill here. Game number two goes to test your luck. So at this point, I'm thinking, ah, ah, homie has gotten serious, and I know some people in chat were like, ah, that download has been completed. 
But again, I wasn't psyched out. I was like, I, I could still do this. Like, even though in my mind, I was thinking, damn, he really <laughs> turned it up here. And that's how a lot of people, I think, expected the match to play out. I wouldn't add to this yet. So I jump forward safely this time, call the Trunks Assist. There's my Super Dash, confirm it to the Barbic Assist. 2M, boom, boom, catch him. And now it's time. Here's the thing, right? I feel like matches like this, and you'll notice this a lot. If I win neutral the first time, whether it's with a Super Dash or whatever, right? If I get that first hit and I take it to the corner with 18, I usually end up winning those games. So I usually end up getting all the momentum. I hit him with, I, I knock him down, I hit him with the X17 Oki. He gets hit. This time I actually call my barrier properly. Force him out to spend his sparking, so that's fine. Let me super dash him again. Call medium 17 to delay my momentum and to kind of keep him in check. He super dashes there. I vanish the super dash, but it was too early, and he's actually able to land in time and actually get a jab punish and confirm off it, which was really good by him. But this is still fine by me, even though he gets baby out and he brings Beerus in, and I'm now in the corner and I have to deal with ore pressure. He spent his sparking, which then makes me feel safe to spend mine. Uh, I, I've said this before, but I usually try to save my sparking before my opponent or until after my opponent uses theirs. Um, so yeah, we get the key blast, confirm it to a jump heavy, extend off the bar lock, boom, now I'm right back where I want to be with Android 18, knock him down, EX17 pressure, he gets hit, I almost didn't confirm that hit, I almost didn't confirm that hit, but I ended up dropping the combo. Now here's the thing, right, I was able to reflect these supers, but man, 10 supers are mad safe, I actually super dashed there after I reflected, but my super dash didn't come out, I'm blaming that on PC eating my input, so I started whiffing 5LL and then panic vanished because I was whiffing, um, but it ended up working out okay, I guess, we got the hit on TN. EX17 just so he can't uh, raw tag and cause assist, but he super dashes at me. And I, I in my mind, when I hit him with that, when he hit me with that super dash, I was thinking, ah, I deserve that. As much as I've been super dashing, I deserve that. I definitely deserve that. Dragon Rush again, or pressure. I'm trying to jump out of the way. I push Vanish on the Dragon Rush, and then I didn't confirm that hit, and he's mashing all the way down, and then down goes Android 18. So I still say I'm in the lead with this match. I mean, he's got three characters, but I have two full health characters, so I'm still feeling pretty confident, but. Yeah, Beerus' pressure in the corner is ridiculous. That character does make me a little bit anxious, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know that matchup that well, because uh, I don't fight that many high-level Beerus players, but um, yeah, I gotta be on the lookout for this character. Patience, got cracked by the 6M, is what it is. Uh, like I said <laughs> I said earlier that I played some of my best defense in this tournament, but uh, not necessarily in this set. Although I did block way more 6Ms than ever before, and uh, didn't get hit by that many Dragon Rushes, although there's one Dragon Rush in particular you guys will see in another video that I was just like, I just... Was <laughs> It was so sneaky. It was so sneaky. But, um, yeah, peep, peep this, peep this. He went for a dragon rush. And I saw people, like, lose their mind when I did that level one with Bardock. I don't know if people forgot this, but just how many people don't know. But Bardock's Sand Spirit, that shoulder super, is invincible. It's, it's, it's an invincible super. So, like, that wasn't that crazy of an option for me to do that. And it was right. He went for Dragon Rush. Also, I saw that TK flip. I was trying to bait out a 2H because he 2 h me before for that 2-3-6-M. So, I thought maybe... You see the air-to-air the -air game? I mean, my air-to-air might be kind of sick. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. But, um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, if you do 2 3 6 hs with Bardock, um, that super is invincible. It actually is invincible. Now, I, I brought Bardock back in for the kill here. And, like, that's what I... That's a smart decision to do. But I didn't really want to have to do that because... Take the throw? I didn't really want to have to do it because Bardock's health was so low and he's one touch. So I would have preferred to keep him as the assist, but I had to do what I had to do. And I I thought that we were maybe neutral or I, he was negative. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what I thought. I don't know what I thought. I thought I could push a button there. I was wrong. Tian takes out Bardock, but it's fine. I still have full health trunks. Um, I can kill Tian in one touch, especially since I've got so much bar. Uh, he still needs at least two touches to kill me. Key Blast into fl or flipping the Key Blast, but too late for the confirm. Yo, buff trunks 5S. He does a bad guard cancel. I 2M, he guard cancels it. I 2M again, he can't get out. And that's gonna be a sick things two on over test your luck. And at this point, Bum and the chat went crazy because I was not expected to be able to beat test your luck. Like I said, he's one of the more formidable players. He's been placing really well in these tournaments. So I don't think people thought that I would be able to beat him, but I did and that won't be the last player who I fought that I was able to beat that people didn't think I would. But yes, this was probably my best tournament run ever. Um, so there, there's going to be a couple more videos and a, and a lot more gameplay to to, uh, to, uh, to go through. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and are looking forward to more. I'm really excited to be back in these tournaments and to talk more about them with you guys and compete more and you know deliver this commentary and stuff. And I, I'm having a blast. I'm, I'm having a blast. It, it feels good to be back in a more competitive scene because I don't feel like ranked is that beneficial or beneficial at all for me and it's and it hasn't been as fun lately i mean i never really liked ranked that much in the first place like i don't i obviously i enjoy playing the game but i never liked ranked any more than i like playing casual playing in these tournaments is a lot of fun it's not the same i'm not gonna play ranked anymore because i still will but uh it is good to have these tournaments back in the mix and i don't know if you guys can tell how excited i am about how fast i keep fucking talking but i'm just hype i'm hype but uh yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below hit this with a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content i'm gonna bring you with all that being said it's pretty much off today and remember nothing happens to swing the bad later